Hello, my name is Corey from VMods.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to just put in perks, weapons on the wall, pack a punch, uh, the power if you need to, all of that stuff, because I have gotten a few questions about how to add that. So let's get started. So most of these perks are already in here, as well as Widow's Wine, which I made in my last tutorial, but there's still a few more perks that you can add. So let's go over adding the other two. So what you want to do then is just hit B on your keyboard. That will bring up your browser window, and then just right click miss and toggle favorite if you haven't already. Now you can actually right click and add stuff uh, those stuff without going back to the browser window. So let's actually get out of this. So all we're actually going to do with the perks and the wall guns and all that is put in prefab. So all you have to do is go to right click miss prefab. That will bring up a folder right here. Go into ZM ZM core and then just find what you want to add. So these are all here including our perk uh, for what is wine um, but as you can see there's stuff in here already. Uh, you have the spawnable weapons. These are all called spawnable weapons. Um, they don't have the proper names of the weapons so you got to kind of figure out which one's which but then you also have the power switch. Um, the magic box won't work yet. I'll have to do a tutorial on that. And then you have the doors as well. And then uh, there's vending machines down here. So let's go ahead and just add in the other vending machines. We can do dead shot. So we'll hit OK. That'll put in dead shot. You can escape. We can right click, go to miss prefab. Uh, and then we'll put in, uh, let's see here. Where's stamina up? Stamina up should be here. I forget what they're all called. So bear with me. Um, that's the pack a punch which you already have. Where's stamina up? Um, ch -ch 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 vending. Oh, here's a mule kick. Uh, vending additional weapons. Uh, we can put mule kick in over here. And then we can right click miss prefab ZM, ZM core. And then where is stamina up? Stamina up should be here somewhere. I'm not finding it. Hmm. It should be in here. I wonder what's this one. Oh, that's not it. Don't hit that one. Control Z. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> but um, stamina up should be in here. I'm not exactly sure where it went. Um, marathon. Here we go. There we go. Stamathon, uh, stam, stamina up is called Marathon. And then that's pretty much it for the perks then. Um, so let's go ahead about the weapons. So I don't really have a wall in here. Let's put the weapons on this wall then. So what we'll do is then we'll just right click. Go to Miss Prefab. And then instead of doing the ZMZM's core, instead of doing the vending machines, you can just do the spawnable weapons. So here would be, uh, there's Bouncing Bettys, a Bowie knife, the grenade. The Bouncing Bettys sadly are not the Bouncing Bettys from World at War. They are the um, the other ones, the newer ones. But uh, let's see what gun this is. Um, sometimes they show the name, sometimes they don't. We can do the standard weapon. Now for this, all you have to do is just drag it in place. Um, there we go. Let's hit F8. Um, there we go. Just drag it in place and kind of drop it on the ground. You can kind of position it how you want it. The only thing though with, uh, with the weapons, just make sure that, see how this uh, is glitching in there. What you want to do is you want to change your layer um, by hitting one on the keyboard. Change your grid size. And then, um, why is the grid not changing? Uh, for some reason my grid doesn't want to change. Four, there we go. I guess it is changing. There we go. We just have to zoom in. Duh. So, and then you want to just select your thing and then just move it out ever so slightly. If you actually see this weapon with the line right here, this little blue, uh, greenish blue line, just move it one out and then it'll actually sit on it. It'll be as close as possible to it. You could actually hit the tilde and go even smaller, but that's fine. You can just do one. And then it'll be super close, but it won't be actually in the wall. And then that'll be the weapon. And then obviously you can do it again. Miss uh, prefab. ZM, ZM core, and then you could do, I don't know, let's do a another weapon here, pistol, pistol full auto, shotgun, uh, SMG, here's an SMG, and then we'll just uh, do the same thing, drag it down to about the ground, and then figure out where it is on here, and then just move it out ever so slightly so that the graphic is not uh, stuck in the wall. And there you go. You can pretty much go through and add all the weapons then uh, that you want. Change the view to line them up perfect. Uh, we can get out of that one. Um, you can line them up perfectly. Uh, they're in kind of pretty much the same position. So if you just line them up to the bottom of the traverse there, um, like so, then you should be good. So that's pretty much it for just adding in the perks. Sadly, the perks don't have the models. Uh, you could do the same with the... Um, the uh, 
what's this power switch, the pack a punch, uh, all of that stuff. Even the windows, you just choose which one you want, and it's really quick. Uh, really quick, just right click, miss prefabs. Prefab. So we'll just hit save, and then we'll go into the map. All right, so here we are inside our map, and as you can see, everything we added that I didn't put on the ground is in here. We have dead shot right here. I must turn on the power. We have stamina up, which I'd have to jump and buy. We have mule kick and all of that, and of course, widow's wine, which I did a whole tutorial on. So be sure to check that out. Widow's, I guess that's the back of widow's wine. I put mine on backwards. So, and then what we'll do is we'll just turn on the power so you can buy the perks if you want to. And then obviously the weapons are back here as well. Um, so the KN44, I forget what this is that I called it. And then obviously the CUDA as well. And there you go. You now have custom weapons, custom perks. It's very simple to add. Again, the same process is with the power switch as well as the pack-a-punch. They're all just prefabs. The good thing is you can actually then make your own prefabs as well for other stuff like we did with Widow's Wine. And and then uh, it's very simple to just right click Miss Prefab and putting it in your map. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out my website via mods.com. There you'll find tutorials. You'll find help if you need it with errors and stuff like that. As well as you can also show me what you're making. I would love it. So check out the website, join the forums, and get involved. I will see you guys in my next tutorial.